Bit Digital is a large scale institutional Bitcoin miner. We're focused on sustainable practices around Bitcoin mining. And we're standing in front of a former coal fired power plant. Uh, this used to supply a Goodyear tire facility. It was built in the early 90s and taken offline in 2014. It has now been repurposed as a Bitcoin mining facility, no longer runs on coal, and instead is running on almost entirely clean hydroelectric energy. Bitcoin mining is the way that new Bitcoins get minted and put into circulation. There is no central government that's got a printing press to print new Bitcoins. It's controlled by an algorithm, and there's a fixed supply of Bitcoins meaning that after they've all been minted, no more can be made. The Bitcoin miners create new Bitcoins by all trying to solve the same complicated math problem at the same time. A miner is not a person, it's actually a machine. I have one right here, in fact I have four right here. They're about $10,000 each, and there's a long wait list to get, acquire these machines. We have 32,000 machines, although we've recently purchased another 10,000 machines. We believe that the crackdown, the, the, the ban of, of Bitcoin mining in China has actually been a, a wonderful gift to the West. Uh, there's been a massive migration of machines, manpower, innovation that's migrated from the East to the West. And that's been really fantastic for the United States. In fact, in Buffalo, where most of, job, most of the manufacturing jobs have been lost to China, it's now come full circle where China has banned Bitcoin mining, but that sector is now coming back to the States and parts of that sector is coming here in Buffalo. Worldwide uh, use of energy for Bitcoin mining is equal to the entire country of Argentina. They are incredibly energy intensive operations. At this point, environmental groups, including the Sierra Club, would have a problem with, with Bitcoin mining, even if they were using renewable energy sources like wind, solar, and hydro, because uh, they're taking that, that power away from other users at this point here. There, there's just not enough renewable power that is going into the grid to say that these plants are going to be uh, you know, these Bitcoin operations are going to be using clean energy 100% of the time. So energy Mark supplies the physical electricity to Block Fusion. 90% of upstate New York's zones A through F power uh, is carbon neutral, and 50% of which comes from renewable sources. So obviously right here we're roughly four to five miles away from the Robert Moses Generation Facility, which produces, uh, it's about 2,500 megawatts of hydroelectric power, which I believe is the fourth largest hydro plant in the United States. I think that uh, these blockchain companies are going to accelerate the growth of renewables just because of the, like I said, the energy intensive nature of it and the need to have a renewable blockchain and the investment into it. So I think that's going to grow renewables. There are two ways to look at it. There's clean energy and dirty energy. And there are some Bitcoin miners, unfortunately, who are using dirty sources of power like fossil fuel to power their machines, and that's wrong. We have real-time uh, reads in terms of what's coming in from a metering standpoint. We also have consumption by uh, hardware that we can actually look at as well. So we actually can see a particular piece of hardware, how much power is that particularly consuming at any given time. The Sierra Club and other organizations are looking for a review by the state in order to, you know, evaluate the environmental impacts of Bitcoin mining in relationship to the uh, climate goals of, of New York State. Look, it's clear that lots of tech companies are moving their data centers into the Buffalo, Niagara region for the same reason we have, which is to get access to low-cost clean power. Any economic activity that comes into that region is going to consume power. We have a spotlight on us with respect to energy usage. And we see that as a really beautiful opportunity to take a leadership role in decarbonizing and accelerating the decarbonization of the tech sector. It's important to be sustainable in this space for a number of reasons. The first reason is that there's a huge ESG movement happening with respect to investing in companies. ESG meaning environmental, social, and governmental. And investors are not only looking to place their capital where they can get returns, but also to place their capital in companies that are not causing damage to the earth. And so we believe 
and ESG practices, and that's why we're very motivated financially to find clean sources of power so we can attract these kinds of investors.